What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. Today is going to be a fun one because we're at DC Auto Wholesale Corporation. And you know, whenever we're here, we don't do regular. So let's go ahead and check out what we got going on. And our last time we were here, we did a uh, Lambo. What's up, Pedro? What's up, man? Got Pedro here, gonna help us out. And we're at Lambo, still here, getting some love. Now, you guys can help me and tell me exactly what is going on here because we don't quite know either. <laughs> this is a fun car. The expectation's not incredibly high. You can see the gaps aren't perfect. This is the first car I ever paint that is older than me. This is a fun one. They're telling me that the front's from a Bel Air, the back half, is from something else. But I know I have a lot of guys on here that are resto guys that have worked on these cars. Help me out, tell me what this car is a concoction of. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. And what the plan is, is the, uh, the back half is gonna be white, okay, for the most part. We're not going crazy. The owner's probably gonna put on some uh, chrome strips, okay, along where we do the tape line. The tape line for us is just gonna be as clean as we can. And then the uh, front half is gonna be black. Now the body work on here is not amazing and that's not what, we're going for, not what we're going for, it's not perfect. A car like this should be sealed, 100% should be sealed, but this is a little bit more budget friendly, fun paint job. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some risk and we're gonna put some paint right over things that we probably shouldn't and we're gonna see how it goes. Now when we do that, you wanna make sure that you're not putting on heavy first coats because the reaction could be pretty bad. So what we're gonna do first is get this thing wiped down, we'll clean it up, and then we'll start spraying some paint. The base is all done, and uh, Pedro's just wiping the rest of it for overspray. This is a clear base, inner coat clear. I'll put the link in the description, House of Color makes it. And basically, you wanna do this when you're doing two tones as well and blending car paint. And we're gonna put it over the whole entire white area. And the reason being is when we go to tape, it's gonna protect our paint underneath. It's pretty much clear base coat. And if we get any overspray on any of this, black overspray, because some may have seeped through, then we can just do it like a light scuff with a thousand grit and it will come right off. So we'll pop this on the whole back half where there's all white. Clear base is all dried up, so we waited about a good 30 minutes to make sure everything's good and cure. And now we're gonna be using some fine line. Now this is 3M fine line. And uh, I like these because this is from the tape thing and it just keeps your tape cleaner because you don't want any dirt on those edges because that's when it's gonna kind of make a dirty tape line if you have any tape. So it stays in this nice little container. So Pedro and I are gonna kind of line it up. Uh, it's kind of however we want. As far as the chrome strip, we don't know if there's actually going to be one, but they said just have fun with it and do whatever you think would look best. So we're thinking, thinking we're going to come here, possibly, and then keep it underneath the uh, gas cap 
and uh, we'll do that on both sides. Pedro's got the fine line all down. So now what we're gonna do is we'll take our yellow tape and we'll use that and we'll tape onto the actual tape itself. We'll kind of do it right in the middle and then we'll mask everything up with plastic. So let's go ahead and start masking her back up. Yeah, Pedro and I just finished up on a tape job and we did the angle here the same way as we did it here. Now you wanna pay extra attention. You wanna make sure everything is completely taped down because if you get some of the uh, black onto the white, you know, it's a pain chasing it back and forth. So everything is completely covered. Now about the jams, the guys over here already did the jams. So the jams are already black inside the door. So if you're gonna do the jams, uh, make sure you do it before the car because it's just, much easier, you don't have to deal with going back and forth. So let's make up, mix up some black paint and let's get spraying the black. The last coat of base is all cured up. We waited about a good 30 minutes and we're ready to start to peel off the tape and see what it looks like.
And after pulling off all the masking, I gotta say that line looks pretty darn good, nice and sharp. Gonna make sure you push it down, make sure it's all nice and flush before you go ahead and paint. That's the key to doing a two-tone. And no, it kind of looks like a cop car to me, just a little bit, but uh, it's pretty cool. Hopefully the owner will eventually put some sort of molding or something on there to break it up. I guess at this point it'd have to be somewhat custom because the line we did is custom, but uh, it's looking good and it's time to clear it. After the last coat of clear, it's looking a lot better than we thought. Now, if we take a look at it, we can see that, you know, the body might not be perfect, but for the budget and what they wanted, God, it looks really, really good. The owner actually said spray it with spray cans, so I think he's gonna be a little bit happier than a spray can finish. Now, Pedro did a great job. He did most of the spraying. I'm a little bit under the weather if you haven't been able to tell already so we're really happy with this one and thanks again pedro for an awesome time don't forget to check out scorpion paint i'll link his uh channel in the description right there a lot of great information especially for my spanish speaking audience guys this is brian and pedro from paint society and scorpion paint reminding you don't overthink it it's just paint we'll see you guys on the next one let's check it out more